Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Cui Xiaoqing. You can also call me Tracy, whatever you want. Today, I'd like to talk about the topic of mycotoxins and poultry liver. Let me first briefly introduce the functions of the liver. The liver is a vital organ that is involved in a wide range of functions, including the metabolism of fat, a carbohydrate, protein, minerals and vitamins. as well as the removal of waste products and detoxification. The liver is also the main storage of fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K, and vitamin E, as well as vitamin B12. Uh, it's also a main storage of uh, collagen and some minerals like uh, ferrum and copper. And copper. And it's also involved in the activation of vitamin D. Well, today I'm not going to discuss the details of uh, liver functions, but we can uh, discuss it in detail another day when there is a chance. Anyway, being at the center of a number of metabolic, digestive, and productive activities, protecting poultry liver is protecting poultry life. From this, we can see that poultry liver is very important. But such an important organ is the target of all toxins. Um, poultry, poultry liver is the target of all toxins. Poultry are very sensitive to mycotoxins and can suffer from various toxic effects of uh, mycotoxins. Uh, if poultry eat feed contaminated with mycotoxins, it's easy to cause moderate to severe liver damage. If poultry livers are damaged by mycotoxins, the produced pathologies are enlarged liver, fatty liver, and so on. The clinical symptoms of poultry are reduced appetite, reduced appetite, Reduce the body weight. Reduce the egg production. Reduce the egg weight. Poor quality of eggshell and uh, high mortality, increased mortality, and so on. How can we fight against the mycotoxins in poultry? Fight against. How can we fight against the mycotoxins in poultry? Well, first of all, enhancing mycotoxin testing. If the mycotoxin levels exceed the maximum suggested levels of major mycotoxins, then the raw materials cannot be used in the feed production. The Chance Group provides testing service. We have a research and development center.
Research and Development Center dedicated to provide testing service to our uh, customers. So welcome, send your samples to our R&D center. The second way to fight against the MAC toxins is adding uh, adsorbent. But it's better to add composite adsorbent. Well, this is because the adsorption of adsorbent is selective. Sometimes it also adsorbs some nutrition like vitamins. And the third way to fight against the MAC toxins uh, is adding bioacids. And bioacids can promote the liver to uh, secrete a large amount of uh, thin bile. Thin bile, uh, which is beneficial to the elimination of uh, MAC toxins, intoxins, heavy metal, drugs, and other you know, harmful substances to the intestine, and then uh, inactivated and excreted. In the gut, bile acids can also bind MAC toxins, uh, increasing the ability of uh, intestinal enzymes to degrade MAC toxins. So, once the liver function declines, all the um, bile acid secretions decreases, uh, mycotoxins will accumulate in the tissues, such as blood and the liver, which is damaged to animal health and uh, lead to reduced animal production performance. So, bioacid supplementation is an effective and a good way to uh, fight against the MAC toxins and protect the poultry liver. Uh, if you want to get more information, please visit our website www.sdlechance.et This is our website and if you have any questions, please send us emails with your questions. This is our email address. This is our email address. We are very happy to receive your emails with questions. See you!